Herald Reborn is a sequel to Herald's Walk that came out the following year on the new 3DS. It's set to be possibly poured over to Steam and maybe on the Switch, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. So Reborn has a lot of content than the 3DS version of Herald's Walk. You have a hub world and you got portals so you can go to a whole bunch of different levels. And your objective is to collect the crowns. Just like the previous game, but there's a whole ton of crowns, just like 100 of them. 60 of them are on the hub world and 5 of them are by entering the portals. Now the game controls are pretty much identical to the original game, with the character movement, rolling, and whatever, but there is something different about this one. Now. The more you roll, the faster your character moves, and when you do that, your character goes on fire. And with that, there's actually these glass barriers where you can use your fiery heralds to break the glass. With the glass, there happens to be some crowns right behind there, so you'll need to break it by doing by tapping the roll button like three times and your character goes on fire. But make sure your character isn't getting blocked by some sort of like building or prop in the way. Otherwise, it might not actually happen. And with this game too, is that crowns are a lot more difficult to obtain this time. Sometimes you might have to use your own strategy in order to get there. There's some places like like the desert or maybe perhaps some sort of like pillars or whatever and you have to be really careful too and you have to use some creative thinking. Seriously, there's a couple of crowns that took me forever to get, only because I didn't know how to get there. Now the mini map does tell you exactly where they're at, but the only problem is, you, just like the previous game I friended you before, you can't even tell if it's up or down. So that's still an issue, and so you have to take it like a lucky guess. So in order to complete this game, you need at least 70 crowns, but if you want to play the secret level, you'll need 100 of them. And that's pretty much it. But, the what the secret level happens to be like a bunch of slopes, but after you complete a couple of them, there's actually a nice reward for you guys to grab. But, I'm not going to give that away, because I'm sure most of you guys seen the trailer yourself. But, anyways, there's also like a, tons of secrets too, like, if you get six of the... If you get six of the orb thingies, or at least the diamonds or whatever, they can actually open you up some more ways for you to get the crowns. Like the castle thingy at the beginning of the hub or perhaps another world that has that. So look around and you'll be able to find it. But it's not like you can come back and, and be where you're left off. You have to complete this all one go. And that's a negative thing but at the same time that's exactly how it works. Don't worry, there's auto save, so anytime you collect the crowns, you're not gonna lose them all, so don't worry. But I'm serious. 60 crowns in the hub world, and the hub world is massive to explore. And still surprisingly, regardless, it runs pretty well on the 3DS system. Again, you need a new 3DS in order to play this, just like the previous game. And yeah, it still uses the same game engine as the previous game, so you can pretty much tell by that. I have no idea how the game got running so smoothly, but it is what it is and Luke Vincent just seems to know how to get the games to work. At first it might be difficult to master in this game, but don't worry about it, you'll get used to it in no time. And don't worry too, this game isn't as short as Harold's Walk on the 3DS, but Harold's Walk on Steam is a little bit of a different story. I made a mistake on saying the touchpad with the whole circle thing that you control the camera. That was actually on Auto Maiden Long and that was it. But still, the, the map and everything is still there so you guys can see. But this time, Donuts actually operate as your health. It's weird how the 3DS and Steam versions of Harold's Walk is completely different. So yeah, you have a health bar in this one. Just like Harold's walking on 3DS, but on the Steam version, it's absent. It's so weird how that even became a thing. I wonder what changed, or at least why it changed, but... I don't know, maybe it was meant to get a little difficult? But this one is a little bit more difficult because some of the obstacles you have to go through in order to get the crowns. I know, it takes some time to get used to, but don't worry, there's a walk button. You just 
press the Y button, at least you have to hold it, and then you just move. So don't worry. It prevents you from, like, falling off and whatever. So keep that in mind in case you want to go find some tougher crowns when you play these games. But for Hero Reborn, it is a worthy sequel to play on there. It's a little bit more expensive than the previous game, but I say the price is definitely worth it, only because you have so much to go to. But at the same time, the world in the game is massive. Don't worry, not all the worlds in the game are massive, it's just a hub world. It's the only thing that's massive about it. And what's funny is that if there's like places you're not supposed to be at, there'll be like this little piece of paper saying, Nice going, now get back to the game. Oh, and after being in the game, they tell you to go outside and drink some water and have a break and whatever. It's actually funny. So what can I say about this game? Discover some secrets while you're at it. I mean, like I said, it is a huge hub world overall. There might be some stuff you might actually miss, so you have to keep looking all over the place. But make sure you know how many crowns you got too. They actually tell you how many crowns you got in the bottom of the screen, so that's a good thing. And for those who want more from Harold's Walk, then consider playing this game.